Hey everyone, welcome back to Colossus Legends. Um, so yeah, this time around we're doing another Colossus fight. Uh, I don't know if we had this armor last time, but I did get a new spell. Um, it's the final spell for um, fire. It's level 56 and um, it's pretty cool actually. It looks like a super sun just like in your palms. And then you launch it, which is amazing because it sounds like a dragon just just launches from your palms. So I'm definitely going to be trying that move out for the new boss. Um, and I will make a video on that soon. But um, for now, we're still doing the old Colossus. Um, Ashborn is one of my favorite Colossus. Uh, people say it's one of the hardest, but I kind of doubt it. I think the last Colossus that we did on the last video is the hardest. This one for me is like the second hardest it's not really hard because it has a lot of weak spots and um, you can just take them down very easily because the weak spots are just so so easy um so yeah we're gonna we're gonna be trying this new move out with um this colossus see how well it works see how much damage it does um our last spell the thunder uh the thunderball that consumes all the the alchemy just didn't work too well on bosses it, it was a little weird it didn't really hit make too much contact with the boss um but this but this fire move is completely different so i'm hoping that it works a lot better super cool it just looks amazing when you launch it I don't know exactly how much damage it does, but it looks like a good bit. A good bit. It looks good if someone's charging you or um, like this, if someone's coming after you. Just launch him with a bunch of that and boom, he just died instantly. One of these rogues. These rogues have an, an amazing and astounding amount of um, health. To, to just be obliterated like that, it's, it's just amazing. Satisfying actually. Let's try it again. Oh man, no, he's still alive. I must have missed. Let's try it again. And boom, gone. Right, let's try it on this guy right here. So the Colossus is surely after this. Um, this, is part, this is the second wave of enemies. So as soon as we're done with this, we spawn in the Colossus. Um, done and then we could just start taking them out now this colossus throws things it's kind of like um the the hairy coloss the hairy um titan and um attack on titan so you gotta get close range and um this attack from there it has uh, several weak spots which we'll go over but um it's not it's not so hard nice there we go so this is colossus b i always forget the 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 letter of every colossus it's kind of hard to memorize um since it's random i know the latest colossus is like colossus out or something um, which is a snake. I haven't taken him down personally, but um, he doesn't seem too hard. His weak, uh, the the newest boss is um, like a weird snake or something. Ooh, and this is what I'm talking about. Uh, he does this weird rock throw that aims at you no matter how far you are. Um, it ha it's so strong it can destroy houses, but it cannot kill you. Oddly enough, right? Um, he isn't too hard. His weaknesses, he has two main weaknesses, four spots. Oh, jeez. Oh, my. Wow. He just tossed him right at me. Luckily, I have a spell for that. I am narrowly dodging these. Alright, so we're here. Once we get close enough, he'll stop throwing these. Ow. Rude. Alright, let's try this. 
Okay, so he, he dropped, he dropped, um, he did this thing. We get hit his hands. We missed. That's great. That's wonderful. <sighs> no, it <we> didn't. <laughs> let's try, let's try, let's try using another spell. Okay, so his two weaknesses are his hands. You see that little that spot right there, and um, his his behind his feet. Those are his two main weaknesses. So I'm gonna let them hit it. Uh, I need to heal a little bit. Ah, dang it! All right. So as you guys could see, there's that spot in the hand right there. And then he has that one right there that we can hit. I usually use this spell for him, but I kind of wanted to use a different spell this time. But as you can see, it, it completely obliterates him. This spell is wonderful for this boss. I recommend anybody that has just a little bit of points to put it in um, spell work. That way we could you could destroy this boss easily. I put two spells on him. Right, let me try using this spell. I wonder how well it will. Oh, wow, we got launched. <laughs> so, yeah, just keep hitting his um his, his feet, behind his feet, and in his arms. Once the blue bar completely goes down, he'll fall. And then, if you haven't taken out his hands, which is the orange bar, he'll, he'll be blocking his head, his weak spot. And um, then you'll just have to take out the hands. For him to drop it what i recommend is taking out the hands and then wow i keep getting launched taking out the hands and then the feet that way when he drops he's just completely off guard um and you're not wasting any time at all so that's what i want to target this time oh man they took it down already i guess one of these guys can't um take out the hands fast enough to find them we, we got it Got a couple spells there. A couple hits, hopefully. Oh no, I'm using the I'm using the shield. Dodge it a little bit. Yeah, so this spot doesn't seem to work very well against these weak spots. Huh. That's that's a shame. I was really hoping to do some like really big damage. So I already took out the arms, as you guys can saw, the, the, the orange bar is the arms. These guys tried to take out the feet, didn't really work. Um, they only got, like, quarter bar. Ooh, there we go. He's attacking it personally with his blades. Seems to be working, and boom, there it is. Alright, so I'm gonna start it out with this. Just add this spell to it. These guys are following me, kind of annoying. I can't do too much damage, but they did block the spell. <laughs> no. Okay, so we're gonna have to take out the hands and then the feet again. Drop them and then finish them off finally. Blades are always good to have because the weak spots are super vulnerable to blades for some reason. Um, spells, not too much. Spells are more for the weaknesses and, um, and mobs. Taking out large mobs really quickly. That's what magic's for. Um, so if you if you plan on soloing dungeons and stuff, don't be a mage. Um, you're more like a support role for Colossus than anything else. No, they didn't. Ah, uh, they didn't take it out. We're gonna have to redo it all, and then one more time, and then um, we we're done. But yeah, like I was saying, um, magicians aren't really. Um, this guy's running. <laughs> Uh, they're not really for soloing dungeons. If you want to be a soloer, go with blades. Um, but magicians, magicians are really good at destroying just colossus weaknesses, weaknesses and weak spots and stuff like that. Like I'm, a, I, I alone can destroy all the weak spots quickly. Oh, did I miss that? Yeah. Oh well, they got that. It's a little weird how the how the targeting of the spells work but i mean it works sometimes <laughs> there we go that's colossus b and i got the frost blade wow that's um i'm pretty sure that's a new blade that just came out um so that's a pretty cool drop 
um so yeah that's all for now thanks for watching guys uh hopefully if you guys liked it i'll do um i'll keep doing the bosses just destroying them um yep that just that just <laughs> um thanks for guys th thanks you guys for watching and um i'll see you on see you guys in the next video bye